Those are images of the Prime Minister in Greece. Remember that he's on a two-nation tour. He was, of course, in Johannesburg. And now he has landed in Greece. A very engaging conversation there. The first Prime Minister, of course, uh, to visit Greece. Prime Minister there being of, accorded a ceremonial welcome. The Indian diaspora also awaits the Prime Minister's arrival in Athens, Greece. You can see those images of the Prime Minister who's reached Greece. The first Prime Minister to visit the country, Indian Prime Minister to visit the country in 40 years. A very engaging conversation there that the Prime Minister seems to be having. Bilateral talks will be held between the two nations. Remember, the Prime Minister had a very packed schedule as he was at the BRICS summit in Johannesburg before landing in Greece, the first Indian Prime Minister to arrive in Greece in 40 years. So those are the images, of course, of uh, the Prime Minister. He is, of course, visiting Greece, uh, accepting an invitation from the Greek Prime Minister, Mitsokatis. He, in fact, this will be the first visit by an Indian Prime Minister to Greece in 40 years. The Indian diaspora in Athens expresses excitement. The Indian diaspora in Greece has expressed that excitement and happiness over Prime Minister Modi's upcoming visit to the country. Of course, he is already in Greece at the moment. And those images you see of uh, the Prime Minister in Greece, there will be bilateral level talks between the two nations. Uh, Greece, of course, laying out the red carpet for Prime Minister Narendra Modi because the Prime Minister is the first Indian Prime Minister to visit Greece in 40 years. So uh, clearly the Prime Minister is uh, engaging in conversations in diplomacy with nations which uh, had been neglected in terms of India's foreign policy for a while, but the Prime Minister making it a point, of course, to visit these countries, engage with them as we speak. Geeta is joining us over the phone line right now. Geeta, tell us more about what can be expected of this visit to Greece. Well, uh, the Indian envoy to uh, Greece, Ruth Rain the Tandon, uh, in, uh, in an interview said that the main focus and agenda is going to be, uh, there are two very important aspects that he spoke of. One is cross-border terrorism. And the fact that that is important, not just for India, but also for Greece, that also uh, uh, now suffers from a, a bit of a security issue. And the other very important aspect, certainly, uh, for me, for with every country that uh, India engages with is trade and economy. So there is going to be a lot of uh, discussions on uh, furthering economic ties between the two countries. Like you rightly pointed out, the last time that an Indian premier actually visited Greece was... Uh, Indira Gandhi. And after that, we are looking at Narendra Modi making that effort, that uh, that uh, uh, engagement with Greece uh, towards strengthening ties. Uh, this is gateway to Europe, as Greece is known or is called. And so there is a lot of conversation that will happen on the economic front. Uh, we do know that uh, there is a lot of uh, engage, uh, engagements for Prime Minister Modi that's been lined up. And one important one with, uh, will be with the business community leaders. Uh, there are other aspects too. Uh, Prime Minister Modi has made it a point uh, to travel to more than one country, even if there is a scheduled visit to a particular country. For example, when he went to the United States of America, on his way back, he made that crucial visit, which was long pending. There were about three attempts uh, to, to visit that country. And finally, he went uh, uh, on his way, on his return to uh, India, that is Egypt. And this time around, uh, another crucial visit after which uh, that was to South Africa for the BRICS summit. And on his way back, he is uh, now in Greece. Uh, important engagements lined up, bilateral as well as community and diaspora engagement, uh, business community leaders that he will be engaging with. And there is uh, a host of other uh, important engagements for him. Uh, this is, again, a very important visit, uh, a, a crucial visit, uh, because uh, Greece is a, a, a nation that uh, has not seen a premier visit in a very, very long time. So India making that thrust, making the push to go to countries, reach countries and engage with countries, be seen as engaging right. countries uh, that are critical and crucial and yet have not uh, found their place 
when it comes to uh, when it comes to India's engagements with such countries is key. Right. As, as, Either just stay on with us. Let's listen in to spokesperson for MEA, Arindam Bagchi, on what exactly is the packed schedule for the Prime Minister on his visit to Greece looking like. Day of engagements lie ahead in Athens. We will little later lay a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Thereafter, we will meet the president of Greece and then hold talks with the prime minister of Greece. We will also meet with business leaders from both sides. Before departing, we will have an interaction with the community who are all excited to receive him after the success of the Chandrayaan mission. Uh, all in all, a very productive day ahead. From Athens International Airport in Greece, Prime Minister Shri Modi has just arrived here from Johannesburg after attending the 15th Great Summit. A packed day of engagements lie ahead. Okay, so that was, of course, Arindam Bagchi, in fact, uh, informing of what the day looks like for the Prime Minister in Athens as he arrives in Greece. Uh, this, of course, the first visit by an Indian Premier in 40 years. So this is extremely significant uh, over there. Uh, Geeta, you were speaking about how the Prime Minister, as far as diplomatic engagements go, as far as his foreign tours go, has chosen countries uh, in to which an Indian Premier hasn't been to for a while, engaging with these countries, be it in Egypt, be it Papua New Guinea, be it Greece. Well, that's right. This is a, this is an important engagement. Like I said, Greece, known as the gateway to Europe, Polymy, uh, will uh, highlight some of the important a a areas that India wants to engage in. And that certainly also has to do with economic cooperation. Uh, Rudraj Tandon spoke about uh, trade, uh, economics and investments. And that certainly are on the cards when the two leaders meet. Uh, the interaction of the two prime ministers and uh, will also be with businessmen. So engaging the business community is going to be very important. Uh, when it comes to the big takeaways, we'll still have to wait and see what the uh, outcome statement of the conversations are going to really look like in terms of whether if there are any important uh, agenda items that will uh, that will see fructification uh, when it comes to decisions, uh, policy decisions on the on, uh, on the front of the two countries. Uh, but again, uh, a very important visit. Uh, a lot uh, when it comes to substance, but a lot also polemy when it comes to foreign policy has to do with optics. The fact that Prime Minister Modi is seen in Greece, uh, this again was uh, uh, an invitation that was uh, extended to Prime Minister Modi for for a while now, uh, as uh, as as has been the case with most countries. And uh, the Indian administration over here trying to make the most of any trip that Prime Minister Modi makes, uh, engaging and incorporating other visits as well. Uh, this time around. It's Greece, so uh, the the visit has begun, and we'll have to see what the big takeaways of the visit are really going to be. The focus, like I said, uh, uh, quoting Ruthrendra Tandon, Indian ambassador to Greece, uh, are going to be uh, cross border terrorism and. Uh, the economic trade investment aspect as well. India is making a major push uh, of, uh, towards making in India and manufacturing in India and becoming an alternative to China when it comes to global supply chains. And in that, uh, towards that effort, uh, uh, me, we've seen a lot of conversations and the conversations are growing uh, manifold when it comes to how uh, India is trying to pitch itself as a uh, a manufacturing hub for the world. So uh, again, we'll have to wait and see what that really is going to look like in terms of Greece's own economy, which is uh, which is hugely uh, tourism dependent. We'll again have to see whether if there's some conversation on that front, how to engage uh, the people to people ties and people to people connect is very important for India. And uh, on that front, we will be seeing uh, Prime Minister Modi as he always does. Uh, or, or uh, makes an effort of doing uh, should uh, should uh, his schedule and time allow that is engaging the Indian diaspora and in this case he is going to engage the diaspora uh, as well so uh, it's not just at one level looking at how to engage diplomatically but also how to use India's soft power policy of people to people connect to really connect on uh, the business and economic front.